friends, so today I am here with a very important topic of science that is about a flower, the structure of flower. And you must be thinking that which chapter I am going to start. I am going to tell you in my next session, I am going to start reproduction in plants. So before going to that chapter, first I would like to explain you about the structure of flower because it will be very helpful for you to understand about the pollination and the fertilization which we will be dealing in the next or next to next sessions, right? So now. Now flowers are present on the axis. The axis can be the small or we can say short axis or it can be the long axis. Okay. And it comprises of two parts. These axis and what are those? The first part is stalk which is also known as pedicel and the swollen part is known as thalamus. Now above this thalamus. Okay, all the four sets of floral, floral parts are present and it is also known as whorl. Okay, it is also known as whorl. Now, it is very simple topic, but just try to understand it slowly so that your all the concepts will be clear. Now, listen to me. When we are talking about calyx, okay, calyx and what is this? This is the, this, the first whorl that is calyx. Okay, the first word is that is calyx and calyx is actually many sepals combined to form this word calyx. Okay, many sepals, the, all the sepals combinedly call it as calyx. Now coming to the second word, now calyx ke upar dekho, what is there? The petals, the colored part, it can be white or colorful as well and these are known as petals and petals combinedly call it as corolla. Or kaise aap yaad karoge? Just remember, color, corolla. Color, corolla, it's a bit uh, like similar word. So, petals. Now, collection of petals is known as corolla. Now, coming to stamen. Stamen, stamen is the male part. The male part of the flower is stamen. And how we will remember it? The word still, itself tells stamen. M-E-N, men. It means the male, male part. Okay, stamen. And it combinedly, all the stamens combinedly known as androsium. Okay? And yes, one more important thing. Uh, when we are studying about the stamen, stamen comprises of two parts. The one is anther, the upper lobe is anther and the lower part, this is filament. Now, what is the use of anther? Anther contains pollen, the male reproductive cells. Anther plus filament. Filament is this structure which holds the anther. Right? So, anther plus filament makes stamen and stamen is the male part and all stamens together is known as androsium. Now, coming to this, the fourth part that is carpal. Carpal is also known as pistil, right? This is the female part and what does it contain? Female part, the stigma, the style and the ovary. And inside the ovary is present the ovule. Inside the ovary present the ovule. So carpal or pistil comprises of basic structure, the stigma, the style and the ovary. And inside the ovary present the ovule. Okay, till here it is clear. Now coming to the point and yes, collection of these carpals or pistils we can say, we can call it as gynosium. Okay, gynecium, right? Okay, and you can also remember it, gynecologist, the doctor, uh, the female, uh, the female doctor, it is for the delivery of a child, gynecology, gynosium, so this is the female part, okay? Now, what is the work of this stigma? It receives the pollen. I am going to explain you after um, this session about the reproduction in plants where we will be studying about the pollination and in that we will see the pollen grains will travel from anther to the stigma and this is the stigma which receives pollen. This is the style, a tube on the top of ovary. Ovary is the female reproductive part and inside the ovary presents the ovule and what is that ovule? It is the reproductive cell which will become the seed when fertilized. Okay, we will be discussing it after this session when I will start the reproduction in plant. I will be explaining you each and every term. So here we have already studied about, studied about the four, four world, that is four sets of floral part. The calyx, the first one, and it is actually the sepals together is known as calyx. Then corolla, color, corolla, petals. Petals combinedly called as corolla. The stamens combinedly call it as androsium, which is also the male reproductive part, male part of the flower. 
and this is the gynecium that is carpal. Carpal is the female reproductive part. Okay. Now, so we have studied about the four main part of the flowers. Now, coming to complete flower and incomplete flower. Complete flower is also known as bisexual flower. Bisexual means both the partner, that is male and female parts, both of them are present. It means sepals, petals are present in all the flowers, okay? But when the stamen and carpal are also present, all the four parts, four parts are present or we can say all the four worlds are present. So it is known as the complete flowers and for example is the china rose, okay? And pea plant is also one of the example of bisexual or complete flower. Now coming to the incomplete flower or unisexual word itself speaks uni. One. One partner is present that is either stamen or pistil can be present. Either uh, stamen or pistil. Pistil is also known as carpal. Okay. So incomplete flower sepals, petals are present already. But either of the parents, either of the partner are present and is known as unisexual flower or incomplete flower. Hope I am clear my dear children. So just recapitulate all the four set of floral parts world that is calyx, corolla, corolla and rosium and gynosium. And in my next session I will be starting the reproduction in plants. So be ready. Till then bye bye. Take care. Stay safe. Stay connected. And yes do not forget to like, share and subscribe my YouTube channel Learning Science with Chetna.